tonight, vendors are setting up for the kickoff party, which takes place tomorrow from 6 to 9. That is for shareholders only or folks who have a credential. Uh, and again, that is for credential people only. But tonight, uh, thousands are coming into Omaha. And while that's happening, TAC Airline is preparing hundreds of private jets to flood their own airport. We want to give a good image to the city of Omaha, to the to Ampli Airfield in general, and as well as to TAC Air. And uh, um, but at the same time, we need to be moving with a sense of purpose. And, and TAC uh, Air General Manager Mike Wilwording says this weekend jet traffic will increase by 90 percent. That's a lot of people and a lot of equipment to keep safe for three days. When the folks are all away from the aircraft, we the security is is pretty solid. Um, you know, we've got the perimeter fence, of the airfield, and, and our doors are locked. And once shareholders leave their private planes, many will head to Borsheim's before the meeting on Saturday. That's where newly engaged couple Jason and Nicole met up with an old friend. We've been working with a specific jeweler here at Borsheim's, Deb, um, who's really close with my family. And as it turned out, I was I became engaged to Jay, and Jay worked with Deb to have my wedding, or I'm sorry, my engagement ring made. And now Deb is actually coming to our wedding. Nicole says her family has traveled to Omaha for Berkshire Hathaway for 20 years. It's how she met her jeweler who designed her engagement ring. It's a traditional thing. We do it every year. It's, it's a big part of our family. And guys, I've shown you lots of jewelry, and I promise this is the last time, because it's my last time on air. Uh, I replaced my cheap $15 necklace with this. Unfortunately, I do have to return, return it, so I regretfully sign out so they can have their diamonds back. I'm reporting live at Borsheim. It's Rebecca at KMTV, Action 3 News. I wonder if Becky's ever going to leave the store. <laughs>